So we're going to record right now, okay? I'm recording, I believe. And uh, I'm going to show you how to put, um, how to do a box and whisker on your uh, calculator and show you how you get all the, all the data out of here and stuff. So um, first I'm going to go quit because, um, so first you uh, go to your uh, statistics. So you hit uh, stat and you go to edit, okay? So you hit stat and then you hit edit and um, if there is stuff in your list, you go up to the top of your list and you hit clear, okay? And then you hit the enter key and that clears out your list. Everyone with me there? Okay? Have you done this before? Maybe? No? So we're doing it now. And then um, if you, uh, then you just put all the data in order. I'm going to see if this thing works. Does this work? Oh, good, it works. All right, so, uh, so, um, so you just enter your data. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. I'm going to go across the rows. Tell me if I mess up. 65. Did that work? That did not work. Oh, I have to hit number one. Okay. I'm going to put my numbers in. You can put your numbers in, too. It, we're doing number two here. And uh, it counts it for you, so I know that I haven't messed up yet because uh, <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It counts it. So right now, next to list one, there's a thirteen. So I should be on the thirteenth entry. So I'm still going. You want to put both rows of those numbers in. You got to be really careful that you don't like put in the extra numbers. And so make sure you have put in 25 entries and that you haven't typed in like 868 instead of 800 and then 60, 80 and then 68 or that'll really mess you up. Okay? Tell me when you guys are done. That you've put all your numbers into your list. Yes? Yes? No? Done? Okay, so uh, once you get that done, okay, you uh, can go second quit, second quit, and then you go to stat, you go to calculate, which is the net first arrow over, and then you just hit one var stats, okay, and frequency list one, you want to have list one, if you don't have list one, you can go second L1, second one, L1 is right above there. See that? This teeny little, little L1. Frequency list, you want nothing in there because that's going to tell you to repeat that statistic, you know, more than once, you know. Um, and then you just hit calculate, okay. And uh, this gives you all your statistics. So um, just in case you're wondering what these things are, we don't need all of them, but um, there is your uh, S sub X or sig little, big S sub X or little sub S sub X, that's a standard deviation, N is the count. So now um, X min is 44, that's your, uh, that's your minimum, right? So you could write these down as we're going. Uh, 44 is your minimum, um, Q1 is 60.5. The median is 65.5. Should have the mean in here somewhere. Um, Q3 is 71.5. Maximum is 80. And uh, where's the mean? The mean, up, up, up. The mean was 64.875. I would write that down. 64, about 65. Just write down 65 for the mean. That's close enough. Okay? We're good? Okay. Now, um, using 
using that information, okay, it doesn't give you uh, it doesn't give you the IQR, but you can figure out the IQR, right? So now, hello. Oh, you're done. Just leave it right here, okay? So now we can. Uh, I'm gonna bring up some notes. Ooh, where's my calculator go? There he is. Um, so now I am going to the IQR. Whoops. Go. I have to say, view always in front. There we go. Okay. So the IQR we is gonna be Q3, which was uh, 71.5, right? 71.5 minus uh, 61.5. Oh, that's an easy one, isn't it? 61.5. So what? What is that? 10, right? Easy enough, right? And so um, now, uh, I also want to find my, I'm going to call them my fences, okay? The things that my outliers are above or below, okay? So my low fence is going to be, um, what's my Q1? 61.5. Low is going to be 61.5 minus 1.5 times 10, right? You understand what I just did? Okay. And what does that give you? Does that give you 15? Fi that's 15. So 61.5 minus 15, 46.5. Okay. This doesn't go on your graph. It's just if a number is below that, then you have an outlet. Okay. The high fence, high fence is going to be your upper quartile 3. 71.5 plus 1.5 times 10 or 15, which is going to put you at um, 86.5, right? 86.5. Okay. Outliers? Do I have outliers? In that data set, do I have anything below 46.5? Yes. Okay. So I have outliers. I have low outliers. What are my low outliers? What's the low outlier in that group, of, in that set of data? 44. Okay. Do I have high outliers? Do I have anything above 86.5? No. No. Okay. None. Okay. So now I am going to scale my axes. What do you think would be a good, a good number line to, uh, how far should I go when I do a number line? What's my low value? The lowest I got is uh, 44. So I'm going to scale my axes from about 40. What's my high value? 80. So I'm just going to scale my axes from 40 to 80. That's easy. Okay. Then the middle is going to be at 60. Then the middle of that middle is going to be at 50. And then the middle of that middle is going to be at 70. And then we can kind of just fudge it from there. All right. Okay. So now, when I make my box and whisker plot, okay, you uh, go from Q1 uh, to Q3. So here's Q1, 61.5. So you can kind of estimate it, and don't do it right on the number line. Do it above the number line. Okay. So uh, 61.5. I'm going to call that there. There's Q1, and I'm going to call. Uh, 71.5 about here, okay. And then if you have, you should ha you should all have one of these mobile devices because then you can just get your rectangle and you can make a rectangle right there. Ooh, what goes in the middle? Where does the median go? Median was what? What was the median? 65. So the median is kind of right at the middle, okay. And there's no high outliers. So you go all the way up to the maximum with your uh, with your um, your whisker. So this whisker, I'm gonna take the arrows off the end of the whiskers. Okay, I'm gonna go up like that, and then the low whisker is gonna go down to 50. Okay, down. No, it's not. Yeah, it is because. 
I have an outlier at 44, okay? But that is not the whisker, okay? I only go to my lowest number that is not an outlier, which is what? What's my lowest number that's not an outlier? 50, because my fence was at um, 46.5. So anything, uh, the lowest number above 46.5 is 50, so I'm going to go right to 50 with my other whisker, and then I'm going to go like uh, that, okay? And, uh, whoops, not very straight whisker. My X bar was, what did we say my X bar was about? 65, okay? There you go. So what, what would you say the middle of this distribution is? It's right around 65. Is it fairly symmetric? It's pretty symmetric because if the mean and the mean and the mean and the median are pretty much in the same spot, so it's pretty symmetric. Yeah, the, the left side has an outlier, but if anything, it'd be slightly skewed to the left, I guess, but I don't think it is, okay? So, uh, so you could say it's roughly symmetric because the mean and the median, you could talk about the interquartile range, 50% of the data is with between 71.5 and 61.5, the range is 10, and all that kind of stuff. Yes? Okay, got that? Now, I'm gonna let you do the rest of it with the baseball, okay? You, oh, I didn't show you the, the best part, okay? Once you get to here, but you do have to do this by hand, but once you get to here, you can have the calculator make the graph for you, okay? So go to second stat plot, okay? Make sure your plots are, make sure you don't have anything in the y equals, because if you do, it's not going to work. So you go second stat plot, you turn plots on, okay? Go like that, and then this one over here, there's two different box and whiskers. This is without the outliers. This is the one with the outliers, okay? So you want to choose the one with the outliers because that's a little more, um, you know, smart. And, and then um, list one, frequency is fine. Leave it at one. Green is fine. Um, <laughs> unless you want a different color, you can change it. And then if you hit enter, watch, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go down, okay, and then I'm going to hit graph, sorry, and uh, I hardly see any of my graphs, okay? So if you don't see any of your graph, what you need to do is change the window, okay? So go to your window and change your window to kind of match this window up here, okay? So I'm going to go from the X min to 40 and the X max to let's say 90 just so I could see see the whole graph. Um, don't worry about the scale right now. And if you hit graph, whoa, I chose the wrong kind of graph, didn't I? I plots on. I didn't, did I not select, oh, I had, uh, I had histogram selected, sorry. Okay, enter, there we go. And now if I hit graph, I should get my, look at that. And it looks kind of, uh-oh, I got the wrong one again. I want the one with the outlier. Okay, so these are problems that, did I do the outlier one? One, this one, right? I don't see my outlier. Maybe if I change my scale. How come I'm not seeing my low outlier trace? 44. Maybe I did select the wrong one.
Oh, there we go. Okay. Um.